Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler, aka Todd Killington. In this video, uh, we're going to be talking about something that's kind of, you know, it's been mentioned before, it's been uh, talked about, but it was a while ago and people are st kind of uh, starting to ask questions about it again uh, as new players come about and, and things are seen and stuff like that. Uh, I want to give full credit to uh, not only Bruffy, but Bruffy's crew that helped convince him of this to make him do his own testing and uh, the spreadsheet that I got this information from. So Bruffy, thank you so much and I'll have that link. Uh, or yeah, in the description down below. So let's talk about this, right? We're talking about off-road tires, okay? And whether or not you should use off-road tires in racing with vehicles and things, and uh, the whole entire you know thing about this. So let, let's just talk about a few things first. This is the truth about off-road tires. Um, it does not matter what tire you use. Your speed will not be affected. If you go, it doesn't matter if you use off-road or low rider or high end or sport, your your speed will not be affected, okay? I'm just doing a quick little test right here to show that uh, on one of my tracks. This isn't official, okay? I just did one run just to kind of give you guys an idea. Uh, I, well, I did multiple runs, but I just recorded this one. Um, and the speed between off-road and high end is gonna be the same. And as you saw in the very, very beginning there, I have you know high end tires on this one, they're low profile, um, and there's there's no difference. Now, I will show you later on what the difference is between off-road and, and like high-end or low-profile tires and why you should use them. And there's only certain vehicles that benefit from them. And uh, the link I'm going to have in the description will give you the whole entire spreadsheet. I'm going to show you a few of the vehicles, not all of them. Uh, there's a good amount of vehicles that do benefit from using off-road tires. And uh, it is definitely something that you'd want to look into for when you do racing with uh, GTA Online. And, you know, there's a lot of new race car games coming out right now. You got, you know, Gran Turismo, you got the new Forza. Uh, so, you know, and it's kind of re-sparked all the racing with GTA as well. As you see, you get a 58.158 with, I'm using the uh, the Massacre right there, the Massacre, however you want to say it. And that was with the high profile tires. Now we're going on over here to uh, off-road tires, okay? We're going to start the race up again. And like I said, there is no difference in this right here. There's no difference in traction. If I take... Um, for the tires now the cars themselves have a off-road uh variable and that's a whole other it's a whole other video uh but the tires themselves don't affect that off-road variable whatsoever okay uh it's just built into the programming of the car the coating of the actual vehicle not the tires themselves the tires have nothing to do with speed or actual traction so if i was on a dirt road and it was completely flat and i was going you know in a straight line my times will be very, very close. They'll be within, you know, the variable of, of acceptance with, you know, uh, you know, being equal or whatnot. So that's very important to remember. Uh, like I said, we're, this is using off-road tires. We're just going down the same track right here. Um, this, is this, is, this is my unofficial track. I, I don't use this very often. Uh, I had to use it a while ago, as you see at the beginning and the end. Why? But anyways, it's more, <laughs> that's, that's a different video. Um, but yeah, so... You know, don't worry about that. Don't let people make you think that they're faster in a straight line. We'll get into what the difference is here in just a moment. I just want to show you the times right here. So as you see, the time with the off-road tire, 58.292. So, I mean, we're talking about a tenth of a second, which is within the variable. And I did multiple runs. The off-road is faster. The off-road is slower. It, is, you know, it doesn't really matter. Now, I slowed this down. This is with high-profile tires right here. This is with high-end, low, or, uh, yeah, low profile. As you see, as I'm hitting the curbs, the car starts to kick out and it spins out on me right here. This is the difference with off-road versus uh, low profile or high-end tires. There's a variable in the game with some vehicles that is called tire clipping, okay? And that's where the tires come into play. This is with off-road tires right here. And as you see, the car is able to take the curbs much more stable. It has a much more of a stable feel to it that's the difference it's all about the curbs that you hit in racing okay so if i'm using a low profile tire and i hit a curb it's going to make the car while with certain vehicles and here's a list of some of them it'll make the car react differently because of that variable in the car and the tires help that that's the one that the tires do affect so as you see right here we have the bf 400 the massacre race car sterling gt cyclone re7b wagner vision xa proto and the xa21 and we'll have another uh, list. This is not all of them, though. This is just a few that I thought were kind of important that I want you guys to see. Uh, Cliffhanger, Gargoyle, Gesture, Race Car, Omnis, ETR1, and the Itali, the T20, the Zentorno, 
and the tempesta all right uh <laughs> you had to say it like that the tempesta um but that's what the difference is in these vehicles okay that's that's what the difference is with the tires it's all about hitting the curb it's it's curb it's, a, it's like a tire clip and i will have the link that bruffy made with the spreadsheet for the information down below okay so check that out all right so once again here it is right here uh, low profile tires or high end as you hit the curbs and you're taking turns and things like that it just doesn't react to the curbs well you see it kick out right there and as I'm coming across and turning right here it just it, it's much it's, it's a harsher feel for the car and it causes you to spin out and over it's very subtle it, it, it is very subtle it's hard to notice if you're really testing for it now I'm using off-road tires and you see it is how much more stable it is so it doesn't necessarily make the car faster on a flat surface, but it's able to handle for certain vehicles, off-road tires, I guess because of the sidewall, the thicker sidewall or whatnot, it uh, allows the car to handle the curbs much better. That's the difference. And in turn, it will make your lap time faster because you're able to control the vehicle better around, you know, street curbs and things like that. And that's, that's the difference right there. So that's why you should use them. There are some of the cars I showed you that benefit from them and follow the link down below to get a list of all the vehicles. And once again, Bruffy, thank you so much for all your hard work, man. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Ills and Reels content in the game. Make sure you smash, I mean, smash that like button. Stay dangerous. Peace.